Let me find a spot to cast over here. And cast out. And drop it right there. Let me jig it. Oh, there, there's a fish on it. There's a fish on it. Hey, how did you reel this thing in? Bro, I know it's kind of hard. It's not easy. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing, where you can catch everything outdoors. That's what CEO stands for. In today's episode, we're going back to kind of the funny stuff right now. We've done the world's smallest fishing rod stuff before, so I found a new one, but I decided, you know what, I wanted to partake in some of the fun as well because, you know, sometimes when I'm just filming and seeing him catch these fish and stuff, I get a little jealous. So I decided to go ahead and do the full DIY and me catching some fish on this channel. So I hope you enjoy it. Micro coffee cups. That gives me an idea. Let's fish with a micro fishing rod. You mean like that world's smallest? World's smallest. Look guys, no crutches. I'm still limping along, making videos here. I'm here today with Monster Mike. Turn around, Mike. Woo! What's up guys, Monster Mike here. So today, we're actually going to fish with the world's smallest fishing rod. Check this out. I was on Amazon the other night, bored, you know, because obviously I was on crutches. I couldn't really do anything. I couldn't go anywhere. So let me go on Amazon and see what I could, uh, what I could buy. Man, I'm really talking really fast because I just drank that coffee. But, you know, hopefully you guys can keep up. So I went on Amazon and I was looking up bass stuff, right? So this boat popped up and I'm like, oh, that's a pretty cool looking boat. But when I looked even closer, it has a fishing rod and it looks like I can actually make it work. So today I'm going to try to rig it up to see if we can catch a fish with this world's smallest fishing rod. And you know what? I'm going to let Mike do it too. Woo, this is going to be fun. I can't wait. I love fishing with the world's smallest fishing rod. Let's do it. All right. Well, since I am fishing with Monster Mike and he's like a superstar, guys, that's a superstar right there. Thank you guys. World Thank famous you. Monster Mike. <laughs> um, I'm going to let him Woo. open up this toy bass boat. Woo. And uh, thank you, Brian. Yeah, man. So Brian, he got me this cool little bass boat. It's time to open it up. Oh man, well, that was easy. Uh, let's see. I did have a knife here somewhere. Let's see. I help you. I got. I got a little. Oh, we got the world's smallest fishing rod. Can you catch a bass? Let me see if I can catch a bass. Let's see if I can catch a largemouth. Oh my gosh, with the lure. I think I got a, all right. Oh, I thought it was a magnet. Yeah, I, I, I tried. Well, that was pointless. It didn't really magnet, but at least we can edit to that part. Ah! <laughs> all right, so now we got to figure out how to rig this thing up. I don't think this line is going to work, or we can literally just tie a double uni from that to here, you know but what? it'll have a knot. It'll probably be too thick. I say let's just use straight braid. So let's cut that off. And guys, this is how we're going to rig this up. We're turning a micro little toy kids fishing rod and reel. Into a real one. Into a real one. Technically it is real. They sell it as a toy, but it's real and it's gonna catch some fish. All right, so spool this bad boy up. Nice. Straight through the eye guides. And guys, you don't wanna, you don't wanna skip these eye guides. No. You know, I, I don't know if you've ever done that when you're really Fishing, and, and then, then when you're rushing, or something. oh, and then you're like, why am I not casting that far? And yeah, then... or you it gets snagged and wrapped. But yeah, this is it, man. Turning a toy fishing rod into a micro world's smallest yes. fishing rod. And then look, we're using real fishing line, guys. Real braided line. Let me tie. So okay, so I'm gonna do it how they did it. They tie, yeah, like, tie a knot exactly. Yeah. And then slide it all the way back there. What happened to your finger, my guy? Where's it? oh. Did you already cut yourself on the knife? Bro, I don't know how that got there. 
I really don't. <laughs> it's one of those things where you don't even notice until you see the blood. Like you don't feel a cut. Yeah. Like especially on your hands. Like you'll be bleeding for 20 minutes. I'm like, don't even know it. The second you see yeah. it, oh, it hurts now. Yeah. And then I'm like, ah, oh, it burned. Comment yeah. below if that's ever happened to you. All right, guys. So it is the fun part. Pulling. Let me put a little pressure. There you go. You wanna spool it nice and tight. Just like how you do like in a real like conventional conventional like reel, you gotta make sure the line goes side to side, making sure it stays pretty tight so that way we can have a lot of line on there. Hopefully we can fit enough line to actually use it and catch some fish. I say let's go let's go all out and actually add some uh, fluorocarbon leader to the tip. Yeah, we'll that, put some fluorocarbon on there. That way the fish the fish can't see the line, get mm -hmm. spooked, not bite the hook. I gotta add some line on this side. That is going to take forever to reel in the fish. But you know what? It's worth it. It's worth it. All right, I'm just gonna throw on some, uh, what's this? Uh, 10 pound fluorocarbon. Yeah, so fluorocarbon leader helps, especially when you're using braided line, cause the water's clear here in Miami. So the clearer the line is, I feel like, you know, the, the more bites because they won't see the line. So, so you're just gonna use a standard double uni? Yeah, standard Derber uni. Derber uni? Yeah. Just like that. So we connected the leader line to the main line to the world's smallest fishing, fishing rod, rod and reel. reel. Yeah. Woo! Guys, you don't want to blink because the fun part is about to... Rigging it up is fun, but you know what's funner? Catching the fish. That's right. Woo! Yeet. We got this. So we're almost done. So what's the world's smallest rod and reel without the world's smallest hook? It may not be the world's smallest hook, but this is a size 16. The shank may look long, but it still catches these little fish. Look at that. Look at that. So this is pretty cool. So now we're going to get this little hook and tie it on. We're all rigged up. Nice. We, we got our fishing line. We got our leader connected. We got our little hook. We are ready to catch some fish with the world's smallest fishing rod and reel. Yes, sir. Monster Mike, thank you very much for rigging it up for me. I'm going to go catch a fish right now. But guys, comment below, world's smallest fishing rod. I'm going to heart your comment. I don't know. It looks kind of average to me. Let me know what you think. Hey, thank you for rigging up the world's smallest fishing rod for me. I got a gimp over here. <laughs> you know, yep. I'm learning how to walk again. Yeah, but, but still that's getting not, yeah, healed up. That's not going to stop me from trying to catch a fish. Let's get this little tiny size 18 hook rigged up with a little piece of bait right there. Oop, I dropped my bait. I dropped my bait. Let's try this again. That's it. It's a little size 18 hook. Yes, it's got a long shank, but you know what? It won't matter, and I'm gonna prove it right now. Okay, yeah. let me. Let's see if you can catch one. That's pretty cool. Let me Mosey on, on down over. Ooh, this is. Ooh. Oh yeah, <sighs> careful. And those, for those of you wondering, I had knee surgery and got a, a blood clot, and I've been on crutches for over a month. I'm. This is only my second day walking, or trying to walk. All right, let's catch a fish. I'm gonna drop it down right here. Oh, oh, this is a little more difficult than I thought. I thought I was just gonna drop it in and get smacked by a fish. Oh. All right. Well, I'm not hitting the smaller fish, so might as well go for a bigger fish, right? Yep. Well, that didn't work. I'm not supposed to get <laughs> snagged in the weeds. <laughs> hey, I never claimed to be a pro angler. Yeah, it's not that easy. I just like to fish. Oh, oh my gosh, that was the best oh, cast in the world. Yes, it was. Uh, it'd be better if there was fish there. You think? Yeah, but that does look cool in your hand. Right? It looks average to me. Yeah, yeah. it's average to us, Brian. Some might say it's big. Yeah. <gasps> look, look. Oh look my Mike. gosh, Brian, look, if you, oh my gosh. I, oh no. No. It didn't hook his lip. No. Brian, uh, you're gonna get him here, here. This is gonna be epic. Oh man. Guys, I'm don't blink. I'm, I'm shaking now, look. <laughs> don't blink. Oh, oh no. Oh, come back out. Don't blink. Come back. Oh, it feels good. My toes are actually sinking in the water. Oh, that's a big jewel. That's a big jewel. He's chewing it, but... Let me get him. Oh! oh. I, I jumped the hook set, guys. <laughs> oh, there's two Mayans waiting yep. back there. Yep. Ready? Yeah. What a cast. <laughs> that was a good cast. Watch it. Come on. Let's go. Come up and eat it before it even hits the bottom. Eat it before it hits the bottom. Oh! 
Look at that name. Guys, I need you to wish me luck. <laughs> yeah, comment below. I wish you luck. I wish, wish you, luck. you luck. Yeah, I'll yeah. take the luck. Yeah. Uh, now I'll take some bread too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm starting to sweat. Bro, it's gonna happen. I thought it would be easier than this. <laughs> hey, but the I really fish, did. The fish are there. Let me see. Guys, don't click off, man. Don't click off. Cause I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get a fish. Yeah. Never give up. You know what? I'm gonna leave this hook exposed. Yeah, so you can just sting them. Yeah. Monster Mike caught a fish. Yep, you could do it. Uh, <laughs> but I think the rod fits his hands better than it fits <laughs> mine. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's, yeah, that's, um, that's it. They're getting ganked. He's getting ganked. Yeah. Not you. Not you. Not you. Pull it back. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, here. Oh, Go the big one. Steal it. Come on. You're bigger. Go no. steal it. No. Did he steal it? No. These little jewels are aggressive. <laughs> He oh, sees yeah. it. He sees it. He's rushing in. He's rushing in. Got him. I got him. You got him. I got him. Oh, you got him. Yes. On the world's Rip. smallest. Oh. He's just ripping drag. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get <laughs> that in here. Is Get crazy. in here. Get in here. Put that it on that. Crazy. Put it on that one. Look. Look at that. Oh no. It oh. just ripped my drag. No. He's he's getting it. Hey, how did you reel this thing in? Bro, I know it's kind of hard. It's not easy. There we go. Get him. There we go. There Get we him. Go. Real, real, real. There we go. I'm Getting the slack out. Oh! Getting the slack out. Oh, you this. got this. You got this. Uh, see the rod bending? Yes. Rod bending. Focus on the rod. Yes. Don't focus on my hand. Yes. I got a fish, guys. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> I got a fish. Hey, hey, it wasn't easy, but we no, got him. We kept sliding out of my fingers. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. Woo! Look what I just caught. Guys, comment below. We did it. And we're we gonna did it. And we're gonna heart your comment. That's why you never give up, guys. Look at that. You never give up. Blue guy, and he he just raced out and hit that bait right off the freaking mm. drop. Look at that. That is cool. Guys, fishing with the world's smallest rod and reel is pretty fun. You catch all those little fish, and um, you can probably catch really big fish, too. Quick release? Yep. Woo. Well. I'm out. It worked. It worked. Guys. That was fun. Yeah. Make sure you... Hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell yes. if you like this content because we got more stuff coming. And For real. Dude, we've got like all nighter freaking survival videos. That was pretty cool, Brian. <sighs> I'm tired. You ended up buying a little toy kit. It came with the world's smallest rod and reel. We added real fishing line to it and we caught some fish. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you like my content, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. And you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok and wherever you can see the at Brian, the CEO. And all the support is greatly appreciated. So thank you guys for watching the video and hanging out. And I hope to see you next time. But until then, make sure you keep your head up, keep moving forward and tight lines. Zzz.